I make a thread, no one replies, so I pull out my phone and reply to my thread. Totally, man. <laughs> Good thread, dude. Every man's balls have this interaction with each other at least once a day. Hi again, guys, and welcome back to Cognitive Decline on Camera. I'm sure most of y'all are familiar with a corner of the internet called 4chan. If you aren't, it's an anonymous messaging board where all sorts of people gather. And quite frankly, it's a bit scary. It's not really made for spineless freaks like me. That being said, the folks who are on there can be very funny. Whether it's them being witty and trying to be funny, or sharing some aspect of their life that you can identify with. Uh, usually being lonely. You'll see that as a recurring theme. It's like relatable Instagram humor for folks who grew up exclusively playing Flash games. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. And did you know that only a small fraction of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? That's a problem. And while your parents couldn't fix their marriage, you can fix this. If you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss another upload, and you can always undo it later if you change your mind. 100 word essay due next week, and I haven't even started. Hey, look, kindergartners have made it onto R9K. Wait, y'all were writing essays in kindergarten? The only words I could write at that age were my own name and DVT. I couldn't even read, really, until I was in second grade. Am I just a moron? Also, if you've never seen this green text format before, you'll want to get used to it. It has, like, the pointy arrows and then, like, the one line of thing happening. Pretty much everything we're looking at today are stories being told in the funny little arrows format. I just lost an argument in my head against a person that doesn't even exist. I even stuttered. Nah, man, hey, you won that shit. That fella that beat you is still in your head. Therefore, it's you. Jokes aside, though, if you run into this problem, try having the fake argument while taking a shower. I've gone 50 and 0 debating a fake person I made up in my head. I got a perfect Mayweather record when I step in that wet ass ring. The one other than my asshole. I'm walking a girl down the path to her house holding hands. She lets go of my hand. Anon, I think we need to go further than this. Well, yeah. How else are we gonna get to your house, silly? Holy fucking shit, Anon. Literally how? I would like to award this fella the gold medal in Olympic bag fumbling. He had to spend lots of hours training on CSGO Lotto to be this good at fucking up his chances. I'm imagining half the replies are just people screaming at their monitors, IT SHOULD HAVE BEEN ME! That if they were in that position, they would have secured the bag. And I believe them. The girl practically gave him a dialogue tree he just had to say yes to. Be dad, have a gay son. It's okay, I still love him, it's 2022. I meet his boyfriend from university. They're way more of a man than my son. I just know. I fuck wife, then break down crying mid-sex. The thought of my son getting his insides rearranged just like his mother is too much to bear. How do I know living he's the bottom? That's crazy. This dude was actively plowing his wife, and then started thinking about the same thing happening to his kid. Freud strikes again, but this time in the reverse, kind of? I can't really tell. Either way, I'm sure this dad will come around if the boyfriend's retirement money is good. Maybe that dude gets a cushy job and then he puts the parents in a five-star elder care resort facility. And finally, when somebody else is paid to wipe the dad's ass for him, he thinks to himself, you know, my son getting anally obliterated wasn't such a bad thing after all. Legends Arceus is so fun. I was at a murder trial today and just couldn't put down Pokemon Legends Arceus. The Switch is so amazing for letting me play anywhere. I'm not convinced that this wasn't an actual ad campaign put together by Nintendo. They're allegedly a family-friendly company, so they couldn't just do a skit like this on TV. But 4chan is anonymous. You could just create a honeypot. You get a fake set, fake jury, fake corpse, fake serial killer, a purposely shitty camera, and post a picture to the forum for some corporate manufactured shit post marketing. The post even comes off like it was written as an ad read. <laughs> I sent this to my colleague. How do I recover this? I'm gonna have to take a few days off. My little brother drowned in his pool yesterday afternoon. Did anyone try putting him in rice? Lol. Just kidding. Take as much time as you need. Getting left on red after sending that is like if you're doing stand-up and you make a 9-11 joke that bombs, but the audience is also all family members of first responders or people who died, and the date of your comedy show is September 12th. In 2001 specifically, that is to say, it's a bit soon. Fuck hooker, having sex doesn't immediately solve all my problems. What the fuck, bros, you lied to me. He fell for it. Got another one, boys. <laughs> Humanity's favorite pastime. Getting people's hopes up so you get to see the look on their faces when they realize you were lying the whole time. Be me on bus. Half the fart. Bus is full so no one is gonna know it's me. Fart. Shit myself. Everyone knew. Pick related. That poo must have been explosive, man. Because even if it's loud, you could still make the stank face and have plausible deniability that it was you. But that shit had to have been liquid and leaking out of your pant leg for people to find out it's you. If you'd eaten better and it came out solid, you'd have to sit with doo-doo in your pants until you're stopped, and the other passengers would still find out it was you when they see the massive shit stain on your ass as you walk by. But by the time they figure it out, you'd already be off the bus and running away as fast as possible. Get your shit together, man. Literally. Eat more fiber. Trust me, it helps. Be me. 5'5 five, five manlet dating a 6'3 girl. Every time we get into an argument, she just lifts me up and puts me on the high cupboard, and I can't leave until I say sorry to her. I ghost wrote this post in case you were wondering. Listen, I understand getting trapped the first time, fella. Like, she lifts you up by the armpits because she surprised you. But life is a little like Dark Souls. You gotta learn the enemy's tells at some point, man. When you just feel the disagreement coming and she goes to reach for your pits, just run in the other fucking direction. You gotta hide her to something that she can't reach under and also can't fit in to crawl and pull you out of. For people 
people our size, I'd recommend getting in a shoe cubby, see a child's missing poster, dial and call the number, scream, Mommy, please help. I remember reading a tweet about a guy who did this same thing, but with missing dog posters, and he just bark at the person on the other end. This has to be the shit he graduated to when terrorizing former dog owners wasn't enough. He just started kidnapping kids himself so he had more chances to get a laugh. He even started an orphanage for all of them to stay while he was busy making their parents cry. I read a hundred square meters of land can produce one ton of potatoes or a thousand euros at retail. Can you get rich if you own a shit ton of land? Anon discovers agriculture and also fucking real estate apparently. As it turns out, owning land can be very profitable. This comes off like if a dude with a heavy backpack on and then he goes, what if I like put shit on top of this rock and then I use it to move stuff so I don't have to carry it. That dude literally reinvented the wheel. Alex went to school and got shot dead. How are you Americans going to stop this weird problem? I'm pretty sure Alex won't be shot dead again so I think we have this one covered. Oh, I had to step out for a cigarette the first time I read this one. People get real fucking brave when you don't know who they are. Like me for instance. I'm the perfect example of that. Do you think I'd have the balls to say half the shit I do on the internet to someone's face? Fuck no. I'm a massive pussy and hiding behind a screen is fun. My parents used a parental control software that blocks adult websites. I tell them I can't get into my emails because it's interpreting hotmail.com as hotmail.com. They turn it off and never realize the ruse. I'm honestly impressed your parents even figured out how to use the parental controls in the first place. I have friends who take that a bit literally and use that shit to control their parents. They usually specifically block TLC and any channel they see with some kind of home improvement or real estate show on it. Mom says something to me, so I stare at her like this and don't say anything and go back to my room. I don't come out for the rest of the night. I've been doing this for two years. She still tries to talk to me. What the fuck? Some people are just stronger and better parents than I would be because I would have just assumed my kid was dead and something else was walking around in his body using it as a skin suit. Or maybe the mom's just trying to be progressive, like she wants to accept her son no matter what, even if he is a skinwalker. Finally have sex, nut in under a minute. It's not that big of a deal, King. However, now that you've had sex, you are no longer welcome here. That's the thing with 4chan, you can generalize and stereotype them all as virgin losers who spend all their time on the internet because they have no social life all you want, but it's not even necessarily true and it isn't just a 4chan thing. It's also most quite viewers. You've essentially put buckshot in my chest by saying that. The difference with green text guys is these fellas get called sad fucks and go, I know, that's why I'm here. It's very stoic and self-aware, I respect it. BMW. <laughs> this was the first image in a while that made me spit in my carpet from a sudden but quick laugh, casually applying to jobs I'm wildly unqualified for. My face when I'm starting my first job doing data entry in a week. You do realize that actual monkeys would be qualified for data entry as long as they could type, right? Well, monkeys are famously known for eventually being able to learn to write Shakespeare if you put enough of them in a room with a typewriter for long enough, which means they're arguably more qualified than the first guy, making it even worse. I feel ear pain, so I go to the doctor. The doctor asks if I've been using Q-tips. I say no, even though I have been. He tells me Q-tips are bad, and I ask him if he uses tips, to which he says no. I ask to look in his ears like he looked in mine, and he won't let me. A fucking liar. Every single doctor is a hypocrite. The promise they all make is literally the Hippocratic Oath. They're like spitting in our faces with it. I haven't seen one dentist floss, a single brain surgeon get a brain surgery, or Dr. Phil get filled up with cream even once. It's all a part of the healthcare industry trap. Be sad, want girlfriend, jack off. Don't care about girlfriend anymore. It's literally that easy. Not necessarily with girlfriends, but sometimes you just get distracted with those thoughts. You gotta block out a time in your schedule to get it out of your system so you can get back to work. It's called being prepared. I know what I need, so I take care of it. Vital Scratch, you're now listening to 102.3 Real Rock FN where we play nothing but rock, rock, and more rock. Uh, glass shatters. Wee -woo -wee -woo. This ain't your granny station. I'm radioactive, radioactive. A lot of y'all probably have one or two of these radio slogans seared into the side of your brain from having it repeated over and over again while you're sitting in the backseat of your mom's car. You heard the same five to ten songs for years on end that became the basis for your entire worldview now. I put frozen pizza in the oven in my dorm shared kitchen. I walk back to my room to grab something, and when I get back, my fucking pizza is gone. I can't fucking stand this place. I wasn't gone for more than two minutes and there's no fucking way it was cooked. I hate my fucking life. I just wanted a fucking pizza for fucking breakfast. This is the quintessential 4chan post. Somebody's so at the end of their tether that it only takes someone breathing on them wrong to send them over the edge. They've got nowhere else to scream but the anonymous forums that they grew up doing the same shit on. It's a little like DeviantArt was for me when you put it like that. Be me in high school. Notice I haven't said a word in the first week so I get an idea. What if I pledge a vow of silence for the whole semester? I actually commit in fast forward a year I have selective mutism, crippling 
social anxiety, and the art teacher thought I had autism. I mean, going for that long is certainly a sign of commitment, but like, imagine if you learned sign language during that time, but you know, as a bit, or you learned how to run credit card scams, but ironically, it's just easier to commit to something if you're only doing it as a joke, even if it's a long con. Those last two things you probably could have put on a college application, uh, saying you chose to not say shit for half a year, uh, probably not so much. And as much fun as this is, 4chan is a place I can only consume in small doses. I'm too pussy to go to the real site. I have to go to a subreddit to have the stuff curated for me. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Remember, don't go after anyone I talked about today because that's cringe, and this was all meant in good fun. Anyways, this has been Quipe, and I'll see y'all next time.